Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me well? Yes, we can hear you. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so is is Yabibal also here? Uh, he'll be joining in a moment. Okay. Okay. So. But he can uh, he can give us updates until then. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, uh, yesterday, so uh, my team, uh, me, Iman, and uh, uh, Brahan, uh, started out uh, by uh, reaching out to each other, uh, having to early meetings with Google Meet, discussing the problem, challenge, and prioritizing tasks to do, and also uh, to divide and conquer between us. Um, then, the, like, we we didn't give uh, that much attention to the uh, to the challenge. So we didn't give that much attention to setting up a common repo, uh, like on the like like from the start, uh, and uh, that that really cost us time yesterday uh, for the interim submission. So uh, uh, we couldn't get the, the a correct repo uh, mirror of uh, the team's repo hosted by one of the teammates and the other like the two of us had to uh, clone it and that was a challenge so we had that problem and we have been working on it yesterday uh, like through the the evening and today we uh, early this morning we had our third morning meeting and we decided that maybe there was a problem with the source uh, that the original source one of the teammates Hosted that we are supposed to clone, so we are trying to fix that. Uh, on the tasks, uh, we have attempted so far uh, until the API integration with uh, with the given uh, API uh, key, uh, and also the three uh, updates to the starter code, the chat.py uh, file. Uh, the front end code added, and also the, the integration somewhere somewhere in the in the back end. I remember so the tutorial that Rahmat did. So we tried to uh, reproduce that. That's how far we have gone. And uh, me, for me personally, I am like, yes, this is this is the first time I'm doing in a group, but uh, the past three weeks have been really just underperforming to say the least so i'm trying to push like push whatever i can to see my like see, see my name in the leaderboard this week so hopefully that's that's my my overview so if abdubal is here i can i can ask questions okay we'll be joining in a moment and i think you i feel like you need more proper planning i'm, I'm here oh, okay, so, here, but here. Yeah, you okay. can just finish uh, rodas and then okay okay I, I was just saying that uh for future like team projects you just need to have a proper planning and dividing tasks between our team members so that you won't have the same issue again and uh, over to you Yabuba. yeah I, I think continue what you're doing but and if you have questions just like that that's exactly why I'm here. So Hussein, you could go, just you can ask, and then others, you know, give us update as well as any questions, any um, thing we can discuss, Hussein. Yes, yes, so so uh, going forward and uh, the challenges we have faced so far, uh, I had this question. So uh, like we haven't still solved the, the current issue, the, the current block we have, uh, me and Iman uh, haven't managed to clone the source that uh, uh, Merit have hosted. So we are trying to fix that. So my question was, uh, uh, when you when you uh, set up uh, Redash, when you build it, build Compose locally, and you have multiple instances of Redash, so in different like folder locations, I am on Ubuntu 22.04. 20, uh, so when you do that, every time you clone another Redash project, do you have to clone everything? It's like 1.7 GB something. So the, the internet connection, like the the connection and time it takes you do you have to suffer that every time you build a new redash project or is there a way to integrate whatever i have locally and you know like try to integrate because this is like a better starter project 
whatever I had working for me. Yeah. So when so I clone I, I it, think, I think Hussein, maybe let me understand it. So, you know, why Docker is so useful is that you don't have to push, you don't have to pull layers that are that are already not changed. So you can write your Docker file in such a way that all you need to if if you have to update update only the part that is uh, you know so how docker works is that it's more like git it does it does the diff part like what is so you build everything in a layer so if you have a smaller connection build it in such a way that you know some parts are layer like so by layer means in docker file whenever you say run something or copy something those starts forming layer and if you want even to copy file and you want to make it layer, then there is an another command called links. You know, that makes like so whatever copy then dash dash links would give you a layer. So it's if you look, if you try to minimize like the amount of layers, so by layers is really just like uh, it's much more git. Everything that you do in your in your Docker file is kind of being composed. Now, most, almost everything that is in your, the layers are now in your uh, local once you, you do it. And then the next time you do, only the one that's changed will be updated, of course. Now, it is up to your design of the Docker file um, to not really just change much of the previous layers like that, that are heavy, like that you don't need to change. So maybe that we can, we can have a one session later, just if that is something uh, a problem uh, yes that would, be, that would be good okay so, so i'll try question. i'll try to arrange one okay so my my second question is about uh, uh the data so so far uh, the, uh, uh, one of our team members have have tried to uh, look into the data and we have like so we decided uh, after discussing we decided to load like every like 14 folders and each folder having three types of csv files so so we saw that the the totals is like an aggregate of uh, the data table. So, so we so we decided like to to collect all the the totals into a single table, embed the the chart and the data as a single table. So, so we didn't like like we decided not to drop anything from the given CSVs. Like that was our decision because if if the user is going to ask some questions, we don't know what they are going to ask. So maybe just loading those says fees as different tables uh, postgres tables was the right thing maybe right so is there i mean, is there I, any... I, I, don't, I mean there's no place that would make that kind of thing right per se like in a way but it's a decision right it's a decision uh, let's say it's not about being right it's about what is possible for you now but you know llm just all you need is just a schema and the schema can be any complex schema, like you know, multiple tables, hundreds of tables, and you basically put it like first is the selection. Like in LLM, basically, you can have multiple steps. The one step is, for example, selecting for this question, which schema should I, you know, I have these types of schema, and which schema is uh, important. Then the next iteration of the questions, the chart is okay. I have now selected based on, you know, LLM helped me to select the schema. Now I give that schema and I say like, okay, how do I query this schema? So it's a set of schemas. How do I query these schemas to answer the, the question? So you don't have to be constrained by your, the normal thinking. Now we are in, in an era of LLM and anything, whether it's like a petabyte of data, a terabyte of data, gigabyte of data, or just a small data that we gave you can be handled because all it does is just, generates you know understands from the metadata it's the metadata that actually is important for the for llm and then it can tell you how to query it so your design is your design and we will not you know it's again you know this is a very small yeah, yeah. Uh, very so, short so, time project so we yeah, don't so try so to should be, yeah. so if but, i understand it the work should be on on how how we create the schemas and how we we query the schemas rather than what was given in the yes, in, in yes. the structure. Okay, and exactly. okay. yeah. So it's in general like we don't try to, you know, all it is a you know you have a short amount of time. It's almost yes. always that's what the case in any work environment, and you okay. 
there is a balance between a trade-off between doing everything just you know in one monolithic something no structure to structure but it's also type if you want to do it in a structure sometimes you need time so it's a balance between that trade-off you know will you design a much more you know elaborate something and don't finish something versus you know what you do so i think whatever you do is acceptable for us it's what we want is that you think deeply and you know kind of puts the limitations think about you become the critic to yourself like i have done that so that i can go along but of course uh, in the future that i would be you know this can be designed and improved and start, you know you can comment on that you can write a code even if it's not filled now the structure of the code just the simple you know like okay here the code about uh, you know this and, and then you don't use it for now but it's that ability of synthesizing your thoughts and being critic and you know and then doing what is necessary to finish the deadline so yeah. Thank you, thank you. So, uh, uh, one last logistic question. So, yesterday, uh, because I panicked with the deadline of the, the interim submission, uh, since uh, me and Iman couldn't clone the team's repo, I actually built my own repo and submitted that with my name, which was not like a group uh, repo. So, maybe is there, is there a way to edit my submission link, the GitHub no. link? No, there's no, I mean, you know, it's imagine just that it's shipped. Like your submission is yeah. like a ship for that. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. That was it. So, thanks. And who else? Uh, okay. So now I'm just opening. I don't know the order, but Fanuel and then Hussein. Uh, Hussein already said so. Fanuel. Hi everybody. Hi, Hi. Abed. Good morning. Hi. Morning. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. So yesterday was relatively good for me since. I think part of it is because I had a good teammate and we helped each other through you know the process. Uh, we reviewed the interim, you know, each other's report and gave each other some advice and we corrected it that way. And we also had no issue in cloning and uh, you know branching the repository and submitting our own branches. So that was a good outcome for us. But uh, one blocker that I had after that was after integrating the sample code uh, of the chatbot provided by Ramat, I ran into Node.js library issues uh, when I tried to make build the project again. So that's an issue for me like that I'm trying to fix today. Uh, I think I messed up my Node.js library somehow, so I'm trying to fix that. Uh, but if I run into you know more serious issues, uh, I'll, I'll try to reach out to my teammate and also in the Slack channels. Uh, one question that I have for Yababil is: uh, so, Logchain is a framework that uses the OpenAI uh, platform, right? So, do I have to use OpenAI with this raw form, or like can I use like Langchain? As it is, and you know, leave the open AI part because, like, when Ramit presented, like, it was completely different than I, you know, checked out using Langchain and stuff. So, that's my question about that. Yeah, no, 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 no problem. It's like, I think all of them are trying you know, one Langchain is a wrapper and to everything, uh, not only open AI, but Google, you know, like every other uh, out there, Cohere. So, I think as the most important part is that you know over time you understand all of this. These are wrappers of wrappers, right? OpenAI already is easy, uh, the the API. But then on top of it, how you interact, whatever uh, long ch long chain basically gives you that very comprehensive thing. So I, we don't. You can use anything you want. Again, this is for everyone. It's the most important part is do you do the part which is like you use an open source core that you can build. And um, then you build, like, uh, you, you put a pipeline around and you got what you want. So the current project doesn't, is really all about, you can use Langchain, Lama Index, just the pure OpenAI um, package, like the SDK or any other SDK that you think is facilitates or makes it easy for your project. So it's fine. 
Okay, so like on top of that, just a small question. Like, since uh, when I checked out Langchain, it also suggested hugging face for different, you know, in other uh, open AI, I mean, AI models. So, is it okay to use other models other than uh, open AI? You can for a specific problem. You can, of course. Yeah, it's like uh, we give you open AI because that just we know that is probably one of the most uh, well trained and well known and you know, but if it works for you some other and you have the API key for that, absolutely. Okay, thank you. Okay. Alexander? Okay, uh, good morning. Yesterday Morning. we set up our group repository, uh, but uh, in our group there is a serious uh, issue. What uh, I need to tell you today: there is a main communication gap as merged within a team. Uh, despite multiple attempts to communicate via calls, I haven't received any response, leaving me uncertain about the next steps. Proactively, I submitted my sample of interim work in a team uh, repository. Uh, as you know, and as you told, the collaborative works uh, efforts are crucial for success in this project. But uh, to communicate with the team members have been unsuccessful. So your guidance is greatly appreciated to continue my project in this week. Uh, Thanks so much, Alexander, for communicating that earlier. And Emitna, I'm going to sign you to uh, Alexander's team to reach out and uh, talk to everyone and bring them in on board so that you know that at least there is a way for you three of you to continue or uh, otherwise we're, we're going to reassign things okay. so John just uh, would be connect contacting with you okay thank you thank you okay and were you adding another question Alexander Okay, uh, I have no question for the timing, you know, I will ask okay. it just. Great. Okay. Yeah, wonderful. I mean, I, I think it just in general, really, you know, this is good. Communicate it, like reach out to them, communicate it. You know, the communication that Alexander put in is very nice. Like he's, you know, it could be that there are certain gaps and people may not be aware, their group, whatever. But it's important just that you communicate it here so that people know um, that, you have you have at least communicated you know that communication is important in anywhere like you don't just say like oh my team didn't work therefore i didn't submit but earlier communicating and finding the solution for that and um, is important so that's really good okay so who like let's i think is that the what is the mood i mean maybe just you can put how because it's a complex project and i'm usually afraid when people are very silent for a complex project Okay. So I, I want, I mean, it's not only Alexander to you, but everyone, at least in your group, one per group, you can just type your group number or group name, and then uh, just type, you know, how far are you? Like uh, that you would complete the project and very in the middle of it, everything is just good. That one is 10 and that no, you haven't even started. You are still reading and people are not communicating. The group might not be working or something is an issue. That's one. So I want every one of you, like at least one per group. And if you disagree also with, of course, the, the, the group's member, you can also just uh, update it yourself, but type it. Because I want to know whether we're going to be, imagine just I'm a team leader and I, I have a, a number of teams that are doing some work and I want to know how, where they are, like, right? So please just type it. So group number and then you're, so it's basically, I'm just going to be, Let's call it my group, uh, the staff group is zero. And how I feel about the project is, or what the delivery by everyone um, maybe is six or seven. Okay, so I'm gonna put it like that. So I want you to put something like that uh, on the chat. And then of course, any question you can ask. Okay, thank you. I will ask on Slack. So it's for everyone. Like I, I assume everybody understood me. It's for everyone, for every group. Puts your evaluation. I'm sure you are thinking about it, whether it's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or one or two, three, four. So 
please put it so that I can get a feeling like where you are, you know, it's like. Okay, Nasrallah is one five. I think we want to push that one today to seven. And do you have any suggestion or anything that would make that five to seven um, before the next tutorial or before the tutorial in the afternoon? Do you want to brainstorm just something? How could we make it seven? Okay, yeah, yeah, go on. Uh, good morning, Yabi, and everyone. Uh, yeah, so yesterday, uh, I believe it's, it was a good day. Uh, we were able to somehow modify the, the front end, the, the chatbot. And later, we were working on the uh, data. Uh, and uh, I think, Magdas knows this one. Uh, I just talked to her yesterday, and uh, the, the data structure, uh, the the chart data, the table, and the total. Uh, I think the table and the total are some kind of aggregation from the uh, different chart data. Uh, so we were cross-checking. Uh, those data and there is inconsistent, uh, I believe, uh, because in the, for example, in the city uh, data, uh, we group the data by date and count the views. It was supposed to give us the the total data. Uh, it, it, it gives, the, I mean, the, the content, the, the others gave us correct data, but the city data is inconsistent. So I was thinking for, for, for the schema, I was thinking to use the, the chart data as uh, loading it to uh, Postgres uh, and then querying from different uh, data tables, we could get the, the, the table data and the uh, totals for confirmation or maybe for uh, a prompt for the uh, land chain uh, so how how can we resolve that? Uh, that was a, a little bit of a problem for yesterday. Um, and we know I where to. Not, I think it should not matter if at this point, you know, when something doesn't work, it's of course I understand we can investigate. That's good that you tell us. And if there are inconsistencies, but yeah, like move on with a temporary solution exactly as you suggested or another solution that you think is more suitable so okay. yes but it's it's i think it's extracted from you know it's a raw data like it's extracted transcribed and extracted from youtube videos so it, there can be some issues but the most important part is you have now uh, you, even if it's incorrect like the part mm. that, that data can be queried or you put it into a queryable format and then whenever you you have like that issue you can tag it okay the data might not be correct we're working on it so you add those kind of statements if the data comes from you know a, a database or a table that is not um valid you might just an issue like saying like giving it in, in your prompt this this these tables uh should be checked because the data might not be consistent. Okay. And then okay. you continue. All right. Uh, so in that case, uh, we just left the, the CT data and we upload it to our, I mean, connect to Redash and we create a, a little bit of a first dashboard in Redash. So the next would be implementing the, the backend. So that, that's what we did yesterday. Thank you. Fantastic. Great. Okay. So I am uh, I am seeing okay there is so if I count how many of the so group one Nasrallah and uh, the theme there are five Nasrallah I, I I wish that you could have spoken just more about to say how do you make it what you know what kind of help do you need to go from five to seven and from seven to nine um, 
So, but just for now, let's plan for five to seven groups. Uh, Yvonne, I think this is the same. Can you say, do you have any suggestions or you know, what do you need to go from five to seven? Nasrallah, yeah, go on, and then you go on. Morning, everyone. Morning. Um, it's, it's not actually about an, uh, any technical difficulty <laughs> we're facing right now. It's, it's more about, um, so one of our teammates is not actually replying to us, which is a bit concerning because in case of, um, I, we only had a one meeting with him um and after that i don't know what happened somehow he disappeared um and that's that's an, one issues we're facing um but me and my other teammate um we're doing well fine honestly uh, it's not about as i said uh, before it's not about the technical issues but it's more about how many tasks we have to 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 really finish it so uh, the reason i say five because I would be unrealistic if I say it's seven, and that would sound a bit lie uh, for me. Because um, today is Thursday. Hopefully, we will try to make it up to seven. But uh, the 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 task and the amount of uh, uh, task we have to implement is uh, it's it's large. Um, that's all I want to say. Um, yeah. Great. I think it's you know as long as of course that feeling of five, it's only if it's if it was just a technical thing we could help. But I understand, and you know try to reorganize, organize, prioritize, such that yeah. you you know that you don't get also the burnouts uh, and uh, overwhelm, so that you do I what you need. Issues, um, uh, if you may, if you allow me to interrupt, is that. Yeah. It's actually syncing up with the other teammates. It's it's a big challenging that I'm really having. It's how to sync up with the remaining teammates so that we could be on the same page. Um, uh, that itself, it, it, it might be the first. I mean, it's the first uh, first time all of us are working in a group, so maybe that could be a limitation itself. Um, and it's not fair for one individual to take all the all the tasks or implement it by themselves because that's not going to be fair for the remaining teammates also. Um, so syncing up is actually uh, quite crucial uh, in case of um, 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 keeping up everything. So um, it's always good to keep it balanced. That's all I want to say. And uh, five, it might sound bad, but it's actually- it, It's not well, bad. I, I think I'm just more, almost always it's exactly to extract this out of you right so it's important to figure out why five and why, yeah and then it's good i think being you know it is depending on your teams how you know depending on what the strategy sometimes you you think a good strategy you know you design the strategy at the beginning and that might not turn out to be good in the these are all understandable and it's fine it's not about always ten. Yeah, so, I, um, it's a, it's just that I have a wonderful, a wonderful teammate, but the other one, it's really not. Yeah, I don't want to sound disrespected by any means, but no, no, but it is real. It's yeah, like, and we have to. That, that's I think they must also know why how it hurts like other people, and everybody needs to know. You know, for even if you are not maybe technically the same you should be communicating and reaching out and supporting because that's a team and if you just abandon the team that's no good so it's you know it's all of us have our own reasons here and there why we sometimes are not but communicating is essential and it's a very you know it's like every work is it defines how we think and um what it means to others so it's like so it's important and it's important we we discuss it put it out here it is not in that disrespectful manner if someone is not communicating just saying that they are not communicating is actually the right thing i think uh, so i hope people don't feel if you are here and if you are not participating as much feel that it is really painful for the other people and so try at least it doesn't have to be like if you don't have time just say like okay i don't have time but i'm checking right there i'm reading some reference i'm sending you know becoming important valuable is not about only just 
coding and stuff. It's about really understanding the other person's desire and expectation and and, and contributing in, in a way that communicating at least your state. So I think it's it's good. Thanks, uh, Nasrallah. Okay. Yvonne, you... Uh, yes, okay. Good morning. So morning. We, we, we actually had a problem with our red dash, but we managed to fix it. It kind of set us back for some time. So that is why we gave it five because um looking at the submissions that we have made and what we are supposed to make we have a lot to do and this task is kind of new to us i actually have really good teammates we collaborate really well we work together really well and i'm grateful for that uh, but we we are far behind when we look at, at the, oh, when we gauge ourselves with other teams because we had some issues, but we, we are solving them. We are hoping by the end of today to raise that number to six, maybe seven. Yes, thank you. Wonderful. Yeah, thanks. The same. It's great that your team is really, you know, working and everybody is participating. That's wonderful. And I'm sure, you know, it's all about that and giving it your best and try to work balance and yeah great okay so i i'm i'm confident that you would get um to six and seven today okay Biniam. so again you you have a team that is seven how can we make it is there anything that would limit it uh, from going to ten to nine to eight and nine just uh okay am i audible can you hear me yes, we do Okay, so uh, I said seven mistakenly, actually a five. We somehow managed to create... It, it is a... okay. It's okay to just be seven as well. I think you should not feel bad. I think it's okay. uh, it doesn't mean seven, it doesn't mean complete. Ten doesn't mean complete. It means how you feel confident, how things are working, right? So it's more of the state of oh. mind more than the completeness of the work. So um, And so it's, it's okay. I mean, it's just that number is really to express our for for me at least it gives me just where you are now you know if you're really feeling bad then you know so that's why i'm I'm also looking forward to ask our own why he feels three so those are things that emotionally maybe but they may have been you know they may have worked so much more than others that they might still feel three so it's not that don't take the number as like a thing but more your state of mind okay go on okay Thank you so much. Okay, uh, as a state of mind, I am confident that we will uh, finish the project successfully. We have created our organization as a group repository, and I currently am working on modifying the user interface of the of the chat of the chatbot. But the blog that we got is, you know, trying to figure out whether we should uh, whether we should use whether we should create a table for every folder of the data or identify some relationships between them and create one giant schema for all as a data source. So that's where we're still right now. It's given in the, in the challenge document. But once we manage to create, to figure out what kind of a database structure and design to use, I think we will, you know, successfully finish the project. That is the huge blocker that we have right now as a team. Thank you so much. Thanks. I mean, my advice there is that, again, the same as I, I said to Yaya, uh, it should be, you know, you should be thinking very fast, deciding very fast and then improving so because if your code is not written just if, if your code is just reading from the available schemas summarizing them in a certain automated way then it doesn't matter the schema you can just for now you can start for a couple of like tables you know put everything or just a couple of tables the same as as Jose was doing you know like everything in one and then you can improve over that so but your code you know it's you can write a little bit more modular code that reads all the schema available then puts them phrase them in such a way that 
you know, this is table one, this is table two, this table is related to that table, kind of that. That's kind of the prompting, right? So, so you, you generate a dynamic prompt from the tables and it should be fine. So I would say don't spend too much time uh, on the part because that's not the focus of this week. It's not the database design, but more on how you integrate within once you have a database, like how do you query it and how do you get? So I would say, you know, be quick there, like in terms of uh, part. I mean, thinking and reflecting, trying to get the correct result is absolutely, you know, um, encouraged, uh, but at the same time, also notice the time and what is the real the business objective even if you have like a beautiful design a schema design is not the business objective so pay attention to that okay thank you so much i will do that we will do that okay yeah abraham uh good morning everyone good morning uh, so just to give a few updates on my group and my teammates, uh, I am from group nine. Okay. Uh, for, so to generally put our ratings for the work, uh, I would I would say five, uh, and I would say five because uh, for most of the work we haven't done, but for the promising uh, communications we've been doing, I would give it a five, just for the communication. Uh, my team and I have been communicating several times. Of previous, firstly, uh, at the beginning, we didn't have a team that was actively communicating with us. But afterwards, after reaching out to the tutors, uh, we were able to have another teammate. And the other teammate also has been able to communicate with us. So uh, as far as the project is going, uh, we have tried to do our best yesterday. Uh, we have uh, been able to give tasks to each other so that we can proceed with the project most, more fast and uh, more structured. So someone will be working on the data, someone will be working on the front end, and someone will be working on the back. Uh, today, we hope to further communicate and adjust uh, our blockers for yesterday and proceed forward for today. Mm, and we hope uh, we'd achieve a seven or an eight today. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. I think that's good. And I'm happy to hear that. And um, yeah, uh, that, that your problem also with the team has at least right, addressed in a certain way. So that's good. Aaron, uh, where is there a challenge? How can we help to bring three to five? I mean, it's again, as I said, it's a state of mind. You may, you guys may have done a lot or a small, doesn't reflect that one. But how can we uh, help? Or is there anything we could do to improve that? So if you are unable to talk, you can also type Aaron. Okay, uh, I think as I said, it would be very important if either you guys type or um, speak, otherwise it gets a bit challenging to even communicate. So Aaron, if you could, I could either type or um, you could speak, that would be great. Me yes, until then. Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes. So my teammate has uh, recently spoken. Uh, I am working with Fanil. Uh, so I think so far we re we have been doing good. Uh, we're following the instructions. Uh, the relash installation worked. Uh, and yesterday we were trying to load the data to schemas. So what we decided was there were three tables, but the total table, we decided to drop it because we could find uh, what's specified there using the aggregate function of SQL. So in a folder, we're trying to create two tables uh, by creating a relationship 
uh, with the two tables. So that's kind of the approach uh, we are using. But like most of my, the peers mentioned, there are a lot of uh, folders. And I'm trying to figure out a script that can work for all of them. But so it would be nice if we can get help with that. We, I will ask the person who prepared the data to also provide maybe um, a default schema that mm -hmm. could work. So I will I will try to do that. Okay. okay. But that's good. Okay. Thanks, everyone. I think this was, uh, it gives me that a lot, at least most teams are five or above. And that means like things are going well and a few people may not be participating as much. We will try to connect with them and ask why they are not. At least they have to communicate. Um, and it's a, it's really the most important that for me is if a person doesn't communicate, that the person we reach out doesn't communicate, then it, it means the person may not be interested and we have to know earlier. Uh, or they have to tell us there is a reason. And as I said, we understand that, you know, how many situations people could get in. And it's not about like forcing you to get here or there because you are working for yourself. You're not working for us. So, but in, communication is important. That's, that's much more of like a, a mode of contact, you know, basically we have a goal that we, everybody should be uh, job ready. And that is modality. It's nothing got to do with your skill. You, your skill might be very high. And if you don't communicate, then okay, you know, we can't know. We, we, we have to make some certain adjustments because that's much more of mode of conduct more than um, you know whether you are skilled or unskilled. On the other side, when we find when we have issues like we try to solve them, technical, non-technical. You know, if you have just you should reach out to us. The most important part we understand, right? So it's not like we're demanding. You know, we understand the situation most people are in, in in different parts of African countries. There are many issues that others don't understand, including. You may have to provide to your family. You may be doing that, or you may be like, you are maybe working a little bit once in a while. And it's all important to communicate um, because just leaving your team member stranded, leaving us, for, uh, not communicating with us is just not acceptable. So we will um, address, we'll try to address that one. Um, and um, until then, I think just we have now 10 minutes to have a break for the next tutorial. So let's stop it there and keep the good work. I really like the excitement. Yeah, Mubarak, go on. Okay. Uh, hello. Hi. Me? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, it is both the schema. What we do is uh, uh, schema. Uh, we write a script file that uh, combines folder name and uh, uh, the CSV file name and uh, put it to database with the combined so and the total ccv file is same for all uh, we just uh, parse it once but even though uh, the tables are uh, much so do we have to freeze it or have much table is, and, uh, doesn't affect the efficiency of the lm yeah so i think Again, it's you can't start. I mean, you can't start with a small one uh, part. And as I said, I will ask the person who prepared the data also to provide um, because this seems to be the common denominator. Most people are struggling, and I I don't want you to struggle there. I want you to actually work on the redash, like the front end, back end with LLM integration. So until that, just put one table there, like you know whatever is easy for you. And then we will try to provide um, a script that that loads to um, Postgres table or a default schema. So just yeah, does that answer your question, Mubarak? Yeah. Oh, wonderful, awesome. Okay, take a few minutes break. I mean, ten minutes break, and then the, the, yeah. So I will leave you here. Thanks, everyone.